Hey everyone, Trina here, back with day 41 of the Mixed Media Art Project. Uh, today, on 100 days, we're just going to play with the jelly plate. I'm going to start off with making some marks through here. And we'll get started. Um, I found a fun new technique from another artist. Her name is Trisha Dewey, and I will leave a link to her tutorial about this process. She has an interesting way of using image transfers in her work. So we're just gonna have a little play with that today. Okay, so I'm gonna lay out some of this golden yellow okra. And we're gonna roll that out which roller we're using today. Let's use this one. I'll roll this out on the jelly plate pretty thinly. See, I have some mask there to kind of keep it, the edges broken. And then we're just gonna put this on top. I'm not gonna wait for it to dry. I'm just gonna transfer it immediately. Let me get out my Baron so we get some good pressure. And I do have the plastic on this. I wouldn't recommend trying to Baron over anything on the jelly plate because it'll just stick. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like that. So I think I want to come in with maybe a lighter color over this. Maybe something white with a little bit of yellow. Here I'm mixing up some unbleached titanium with that yellow okra. It's a little bit more white or titanium. Just to kind of, yeah, I think that's a good color. I'm gonna work with some earth tones today, I think. It's going to be earthy. Okay, let's put this down. Let's see what we get. Let's roll it out. That's probably way too out. Oh, God bless it. I need to clean that roller off. I got a piece of paint on there. It's okay. We have extra rollers. I want this to be pretty thin. I'm just going to see how many layers we can build up with the jelly plate itself. When you're printing directly on the jelly plate, you don't need to add the matte medium, or I'm sorry, gel medium if you don't want to. It's not an important step when you're just transferring um, paint directly to paper. Okay. So I have a little bit of paint left here. I'm gonna turn it upside down. Let's see if we can't get that off too. Oh, there we go. Neat. So I've mixed up a little bit of Payne's Gray, Ultramarine, and White. We've kind of got this bluey color here. Do I want to keep it? This what I might want to keep it just I wonder what happens if we just do some painterly marks with the palette knife through there. That might be a little too thick. Mm, I don't think I like that. Let's put this back down. We're going to roll it out. We might add some texture in but I don't think that's going to work really well. I don't want it super thick because then. Okay. Oh, 
um, let's just put some marks through there. Okay. I'm such a ramp them printing backwards. Not that it really makes that big of a difference, but I think that's gonna be really cool. some what happens if we add in a few of our stamps stencil okay I don't know about this print this and then we'll talk a little bit about Trisha's printing technique. Okay, so I made these um, drawings in Procreate last night and I had them printed off today. These are color laser jet prints, but they're black and white. So I kind of wanted to play with this. The idea is that we'll take a section of it and we'll put it down. Now I didn't decide what color I'm going to use and how I'm going to use it. I really like this section over here. We're not going to use the whole thing, just parts of it. So let me cut that up. Okay. This is what I've decided on this piece and this piece, but let's start with this big piece first. So I've mixed up this gray. It's a little bit of Payne's gray and it's got some yellow ochre and white in it for this warm gray. I want it to be pretty light. So we're just gonna roll this out. Let's see where we can, oh, these are gonna be reversed. I forgot they were gonna be reversed. Okay, I keep forgetting that. <laughs> You think I'd know by now. Pretty thin layer. We don't want a lot of this. So we need to work a little quickly because we're going to transfer this. Let me wipe off some of this extra paint that we don't need. we got. Oh my gosh, look how great that worked. That's so good. Okay, I am going to let this dry and then we'll use some uh, gel medium to transfer. And you could save this and also use this in a collage too because it's kind of cool. Okay, let's let this dry. Let's lift this up and see what we got. Perfect. I love it. Oh, I got a little bit of sea over here. Oh, well. Um, you can see how we've got all these really cool lines from that drawing that I made. Very cool. I might want to put a little bit more over here in a different color. Okay, I mixed up a little bit of Payne's Gray White and Sap Green to give me this sort of fun greenish blue color. 
I'm really going to need a little bit of this because we're not going to print a very big section. Of course, I got way too much paint. You think I'd learn eventually. I'm going to take some of this off. Remember, when you're doing gel transfers, you want to make sure you have a pretty thin layer of paint. But you can see there, you can kind of see through the back. Okay, so this is the piece we're going to use right here. I'm just going to lay this down and wipe some of this off. My very dirty paper towel is falling apart. <laughs> This one's transferring very well. Let's see. Oh, I think I left it on too long. Okay, I left that on way too long. So we're going to alter and use this piece instead. Um, you got to be quick. I left it on way too long. You really only need to leave it on about 10 seconds, 10 to 12 seconds. So I got to go faster here. There we go. I don't think I'm gonna let this dry. I think I'm gonna try it without drying it first. I'm just gonna put it right here. See what happens. This is a really interesting way of making marks and making your work more graphic. It's really subtle. It's not terribly overbearing. Okay, now I need to decide what else we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to roll out some Mars Black. I'm going to put this stencil down, or this transfer down. need some contrast. We need some... I'm just going to put it right here. Y'all know I'm not scared of black. <laughs> we put black down all the time around here. I don't know if this is going to transfer very well. I probably should have put some more gel medium on there, but oh no, it's good. It's good. It's the texture of the paper. Um, probably would work better on smooth paper, but I don't mind that. Let's come in with a little bit of Sumi ink. Make some marks through here. palette knife. I think I need some more of that maybe over here a little bit. Okay, I decided to put it over here. I'm really liking these sort of marks that I can make with the Sumi ink. to kind of give it some layers. And we kind of have a little bit of over here. I think I might want a little bit more just right through here. Mm. 
Okay, I pulled out the Lyra's water-soluble crayons. This is a little wet. But it might be a nice way to add in some pops of color. These are wonderful wet, by the way. You can see you can also, they're pretty transparent if you don't use a lot. I just wanted to add some little bit of color. Oh, that's still wet. Oh well, it's fine. Um, just to sort of define the space a little bit better. I feel like it's it was lacking some pop. Let's try this brownish color, this okra. This is what they call okra in the Lyra world. I'm trying to be careful because that's still wet. Um, continue on with our little ladder. Okay, I think I want to bring this down just a little bit into this color, a little bit. Okay, I think I'm going to add in some white, more little white dots. So I've been staring at this for like 10 minutes. And for some reason, it just kind of, I don't know, it needs something. And that's right in the middle of the page. So that's probably not it. <laughs> Why did I put it there? All right, we're gonna go all in. Let's add some more. Going a different direction. Okay, that's better. Okay, I'm gonna add in some black dots. Cause I'm feeling crazy. It's a lot of dots. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna add in a line of black. And... Yeah. Okay, let's come in with this watercolor pencil. Okay, I think I'm done with this. Um, things that I like. Let's see, what things do I like? I like the technique of doing the jelly plate transfers with the image transfers, and I think it got some really cool areas. I did cover some of it up, but that's okay. Um, I really like the black, actually. I think this area appears really nice. Maybe bolder with the color choices for the transfers. Um, but I think it works overall. I mean, I think we got some good colors, good autumn vibes. I like this color up here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the black up there, but it is what it is. Let's look at it with a minute. Okay. I mean, I don't hate it. I, this one just really taxed my brain a lot. <laughs> Um, it looks better with a mat on it. Uh, it feels a bit Halloween-y <laughs> with the color choices. Um, I probably wouldn't use... Oh, you know what? I kind of like the blue and the yellow together. Overall, I think it's pretty successful. I think we got some nice areas that we could play with and ideas going forward. We'll play around with this again tomorrow. Maybe something I might try is printing those on... Printing the transfers onto tissue paper and then adhering that to give us more layers. That might be something I try tomorrow. Okay. Thanks so much. Um, like and subscribe. New video over here and I will see you in the next one tomorrow. Day 42. Thanks so much. Bye.